All right. For today's project, I am going to be making a beehive box. So this will be the box that holds the frame. I am making a super, so it's going to be deep. I am starting with a single board. Uh, this is eight foot of one inch by nine and a half inch cherry. Uh, I know normally they make them out of pine, but cherry was cheaper than pine today. Go figure. But I've are, I'm just going to use tape to secure it down. This is double-sided carpet tape. I believe I picked that up on Amazon. If I did, I will throw a link in the description for that below. Notice I've only got one piece for each of the pieces I've got. I'm going to cut out and then the end one. I am doing tabs. I'll talk about that in the voiceover, but uh, let's get to this. All right, to secure this down, I'm going to use some double stick carpet tape. Stuff works fantastic, so I'll drop a link in the description below. I did use tabs, but you'll see why I didn't even need them. As long as you get it nice and secure. Sometimes you got to do a little dance, uh, pack that down a little bit, but get it locked down and it'll stay. So I set up my XY0, get it right there on the corner. I am cutting all the way through, so I'm going to use the machine bed as my Z0, and there I set up with the auto tool touch off, so it's gonna be able to use multiple tools. So I'm gonna start here with a V bit, and I'm gonna carve a detail into the end that's gonna contain my information. So it personalizes the beehive. Some people use uh, brands or paint or even uh, markers, but I figured I've got a CNC, so I might as well make it look pretty. And to make sure it's going to pop and stand out really well, I'm going to take each one of these after it's carved and apply some finish that's going to give it some real good pop. My intent is to just fill it all the way in and I'll sand down the excess later. I create my handles, now I'm doing my cutout. I did use a box jig for this in Vectrix. So this could be used for any type of box. It doesn't have to be a, bo a B box. Because this is on the three axis table, it puts little dog bones in there to where there's gonna be a little tiny gap, but it's small enough that it's not noticeable. All right, so I'm gonna point out a mistake I made. This was not the first version of this and when I redid the version to fix the mistake I made in the first version I forgot to redo my tabs so instead of doing tabs in all the smart places it was whatever tabs the program put in so this is going to be interesting to see how this comes apart or if it comes apart at all if you do want to see a tutorial how to make these in Vectric by all means drop a comment below if you're getting some value out of this, hit like. And if you want to see more videos about uh, my woodworking, my CNC, and a little bit of how I make stuff for my bees, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to see, not miss anything, hit that bell notification. It is appreciated. So here I've got a little bit of cleanup to get those tabs gone, the tabs that I didn't need. So this would all be extra work. And on the next couple I made of this, I did not put tabs in there which saved me a lot of time. Here I'm sanding off that excess stain to make those words really pop. And it's just taken off the surface. I'm not gonna sand everything down, just this edge, because that's where it's really gonna show. And I think it turned out pretty well. What do you think? So now I'm over at the jointer and I've got it set up to make rabbits in the top corner of the box. So I only have to do this on two sides because this is for the frames to sit in recessed within the box. If you're doing a lid, you'd of course want to do this on all four sides of a regular box. For the beehive box, I only need two sides. I am using regular wood screws for this. So I'm gonna pre-drill with countersink some holes to allow those screws to 
sink in. Later I went to finish screws that didn't need the pre-drill and countersink. A little bit of wood glue, everything comes together nice and snug. And it's starting to look like a box. One thing you want to make sure of is that your the joints fit together well. These fit together a little too well, so I had to chisel a little bit off there. And then you want to make sure you're square, so I throw a square on there before I drive the screws in, locking it in place forever. So I think that turned out pretty well. There were a couple of things I did wrong. I need to adjust my tabs and I also need to adjust my uh, offset in the box tool. Uh, both were minor. Uh, the second one made me have to do a lot more chiseling, but neither were project ruiners. So I was able to get the project finished and now I can go out and, uh, and get some work done with the bees. I am going to make some frames. Four of these do my own my own personalized frames so we'll see how that turns out if, if we get a video out of that if you would like to see a tutorial on how I use the box tool in Vectric uh, let me know and I'll do a video specifically on that meanwhile uh, I got to get to some bees <laughs>